So one uh, note for this video and every uh, uh, Python video is that please uh, post uh, any and all uh, questions you have on the Canvas uh, Python help form. Uh, that's helpful uh, to, to, to you and to everyone to see the questions and we'll uh, I, I'll be responding on the forms and also uh, uh, addressing uh, some of those questions in uh, the learning block uh, associated with the, the Python topics. Um, another uh, note to, to keep in your mind is that uh, some of the first computer scientists were mathematicians and computer scientists borrowed a lot of math terms and a lot of math symbols uh, and then use them to mean different things than they mean in math. Uh, so when you see something like an equal sign in uh, a Python code, it actually has a very different meaning uh, than uh, the equal sign in an equation uh, that, that you're used to thinking about perhaps uh, in mathematics. And so I'll, I'll be, be coming back to this as we go along, but, but that's something important to keep in mind. So I want to frame uh, this uh, video in the next few uh, in terms of a particular thing that we might want a computer to do. Uh, and uh, in this case, it's going to be we have a, a weather app on uh, a phone or in a web browser on a computer. And uh, we want to uh, display some icon uh, associated with uh, the, the current weather. So if it's raining, we want to show a cloud or some rain coming down. If it's sunny, we want to show uh, sun in a blue sky and so on. And this is going to require the computer to make a decision at a particular point in time. That uh, every time that uh, the, the, the weather app or web page is loaded, uh, a computer program needs to make a decision uh, in terms of what, uh, of what icon to display. And so, we're going to, to build up the tools to have uh, a computer both kind of assess the kind of quantifiable state of the world in terms of kind of what is the weather, uh, and then also to uh, have it have the computer's behavior be different based on uh, based on what uh, the state of the world is. So. I'm actually going to start with a slightly simplified problem, then kind of what uh, icon for the weather app, uh, what icon to display in the weather app, uh, and focus on Should the current temperature be displayed in red? Because it's very hot. So uh, the decision that we're going to think about getting a computer to make is uh, when it displays the temperature, should that temperature be shown in red because it's particularly hot outside. And uh, the way that we'll approach this is
is to ask, is the current temperature greater than some uh, hot temperature? We're just going to choose some temperature, uh, which is going to be the dividing line between hot and not hot. So to outline this operation, we will need to do the following. Get input data, that is, we will need, the, we'll need some way to acquire the current temperature uh, and this hot temperature. Uh, so those will be pieces of data that will be inputs to this decision of how to display the temperature. Um, Next, we'll uh, calculate the difference between the current temperature um, and uh, the hot temperature uh, as a way to uh, test whether, um, uh, as, as part of this test of whether it's uh, greater than, than the hot temperature or not. And then we'll need to Uh, output the results uh, of this calculation uh, so that uh, both uh, we can see uh, what the program is doing and also uh, because as part of this uh, weather app, uh, this calculation would need to uh, in, go into kind of the next step of, of deciding what is, what is displayed. So, um, we will say that we, we have the values, the, these input values that we want. Um, we're going to say that uh, we have the, the current temperature, which we'll say is get underscore cur underscore temp paren paren. Uh, don't worry exactly about what's going on with this for now when I say this is our current temperature. Uh, I'll come back to, to what this means uh, in the next video. But for now, we're just going to say this, uh, this thing, whatever, whatever it is, this is the current temperature, <coughs> excuse me, outside. Uh, and our hot temperature, we're just going to say, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So, uh, in order for our computer to do something with these values, uh, we're going to want to put them in memory, uh, kind of put them where the CPU can, can access them. And we're also going to want to give them a name such that we can actually refer to uh, uh, the particular values that we care about. Uh, and we're going to accomplish this through uh, something called assignment. So we'll have something called an assignment statement, which will consist of a variable name. I'm actually going to put this on here. So we're going to have variable name equals and then some expression. And I put these uh, terms inside these angle brackets to indicate that they're, these are placeholders. So we, you would have some actual um, mathematical or another kind of expression here and you would have 
uh, a variable name, and I'll talk about what that means uh, here. But this is this is one of those instances uh, where we're using uh, a symbol that you're probably very familiar with uh, in mathematics uh, equals and uh, it's going to mean something specific and different uh, in Python than it does in uh, say algebra uh, and so the this assignment statement uh, and so for for example uh, we would say something like cur temp equals get cur temp and our hot temp equals 80. And what's going on in these assignment statements uh, is that we going to compute the value on the right and once we compute the value on the right we're going to store that uh, that in memory in one of the, the slots in memory uh, and so computing uh, the value on the right here uh, it's very simple it's just 80. The result of the expression 80 is 80. Uh, get cur temp uh, is going to give us some some uh, some number, uh, and uh, the what happens with what's on the left of the equal sign here is that. that we're going to give so that we're going to give the slot in memory where we stored uh, the result uh, we're going to give it a label or a variable name which is this this term on the left of the equal sign so uh, uh, viewed another way, uh, we have memory here, and this hot temp 80 says, all right, compute 80, put it in a slot in memory, uh, and then give that slot a label which is hot underscore temp. And so now, uh, in future steps in our program, uh, we can refer to this memory slot using this label hot underscore temp. So uh, why, why am I writing the variable names in this particular way of uh, using this underscore? Uh, it's because variable names have to follow a few rules. Uh, they have to begin with a letter or an underscore. Uh, they can only contain numbers, letters, or underscores. Uh, and they cannot contain spaces. So you couldn't have this hot space temp. Uh, variable names cannot contain any spaces. Um, and they're also uh, case sensitive, which means that um, the hot temp with a lowercase h and hot temp with an uppercase h, these are different names. Uh, and they're, they're different labels and you can't use them uh, interchangeably. Uh, and typically uh, to make variable names easier to read, uh, you put an underscore uh, in between uh, kind of 
the logical components of the name. So we have the, the hot temperature and the current temperature. Uh, and uh, as is uh, traditional with computer scientists, uh, we uh, are uh, like to uh, save. Uh, we, we, we don't like to uh, type more keystrokes than we have to. And so instead of writing out temperature, temp, instead of writing out current, we occur. Um, uh, but these names still describe uh, what, what these quantities are. Yes? Hello? Ah, yes. I see. Right. Thank you. So I just got off the phone with Current Temperature Incorporated. Uh, and this get current temperature is going to provide us uh, the current temperature in Celsius, uh, which is uh, a little inconvenient since our hot temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we have a, a mismatch, uh, Celsius Fahrenheit. So we're going to need to do uh, a conversion. And um, as you probably know there's a formula to convert there's a formula to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit uh, and so we uh, and we could convert um, either way uh, but uh, let's say that we want to convert um, uh, uh, to Celsius, so we, we'd be converting hot temperature to Celsius to match our current temperature. Uh, and so uh, for that, we have um, uh, our temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 5 times 9. Uh, and uh, this means that our, our program is going to need to be able to perform these arithmetic operations. Uh, fortunately, Python provides uh, the standard mathematical operators. Uh, we have addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, division, remainder, uh, or modulo. Um, this is uh, uh, more accurately called the modulo operator. Um, uh, and, and two asterisks gives us the exponent. So this is multiplication, division, modulo, and exponent. Uh, so modulo uh, is maybe one that you're not familiar with. What it means is uh, uh, you uh, do the uh, a modulo b uh, means divide a by b and uh, the, the remainder of that division or what's left over after you kind of uh, subtract off uh, B as many times as you can. That is the result of this modulo operation. And we'll, uh, uh, in the learning block, uh, we'll, we'll see an example of, uh, of this uh, in action in case that, that's a little um, too abstract. So uh, other thing to note about these operators The order of operations applies, so uh, exponent first, then multiplication of in modulo, and finally addition and subtraction, so the, the order of operations that, that you're likely familiar with. So let's actually uh, transition from the board to uh, code and, and start uh, putting in some math here. So on the screen, I have VS Code, um, uh, which I'll, I'll be using here. Uh, and so I will uh, create a new file. I'm going to call it weather.py. And uh, it will, we have our current temperature 
Um, uh, current temperature equals uh, get current temp and our hot temperature is 80 and um, we're actually going to be uh, accessing this get current temp uh, is is defined uh, in a different Python file. So we're going to get access to it by saying from temperature uh, import get current temp. Uh, and again, what exactly this means, uh, we'll we'll see that in a in a future video. And uh, we'd say that hot temp in Celsius, and so I'll make this hot temp uh, underscore F to make it clear that this one is in Fahrenheit and we're going to have a new variable which is uh, the hot temperature in Celsius. Uh, and so going by the formula there, we have hot temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 divided by 9. And uh, if I uh, click this green arrow here to, to run the program, it's going to pop up this terminal. Um, it will, will run it, and nothing shows up. The reason nothing shows up is because there's no part of uh, this Python code here that uh, tells our computer to send the result to the screen where we can see it. Uh, and so computer, it's just an instruction following machine, doesn't know that I would like to see uh, the results of this, of this computation. I actually have to have a line of code that tells the computer to display that to me. And so uh, this is the, the output, uh, outputting the result. Um, and so I'll start off by uh, uh, printing the uh, hot uh, temp C equals, and we're going to want to print hot temp C, and it's going to be degrees Celsius. And then for good measure, I'll also print out um, the difference from the current temperature uh, is cur temp minus uh, hot temp C. So uh, I'm going to blithely ignore all these underlying parts, which uh, is typically VS Code telling you that uh, perhaps there's a problem. And I'm sure there's no problem, so I will uh, run it. Uh, well, there, there was indeed, indeed a problem. So uh, when there is a problem in your, in your Python code, uh, that error will be displayed in the terminal. Uh, in a format like this that's uh, often uh, fairly unhelpful and inscrutable, sadly. Uh, so there's, there's a, a, a skill you'll learn, you'll learn in deciphering these error messages in terms of what they actually mean. So uh, it starts out by telling you which file uh, the error occurred in. So it's our, our weather.py, the file we're, we're in. No surprise there. And it's line six. And you can see the, the line numbers along the left here. So the error is in line six. It says syntax error, which means that something about the Python that I've written is, is not valid Python. It's, uh, it's not a logical problem with the code. It's that the, uh, the computer did not, was not able to interpret it as a legitimate Python uh, instruction. And so it, it gave up and stopped. Uh, and then there's this description, EOL while scanning string literal. Uh, this is uh, kind of mi mysterious uh, 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 incantation um, for, for, for what's happening here. EOL stands for end of line. So it's telling us that while it was scanning a string literal, it reached the end of the line. 
Now, what is a string literal? So, something that I was doing here that I hadn't mentioned before was I was putting stuff inside these double quotes. Uh, and this is something called a string in Python. And uh, it is how you uh, represent text uh, data in Python. Uh, and it's called a string because it is a uh, string of multiple characters. So this uh, uh, string here is actually a sequence of the character H, then the character O, uh, then the character T, and so on. That's where the name string comes from. Uh, and you put it inside double quotes uh, or single quotes, uh, either uh, that they're equivalent. Um, uh, and uh, uh, that's how you, you do text data. And so what I was uh, telling this uh, print operation here was uh, I say print, have a parenthesis, and then I give it all the things I would like it to print out on a line uh, separated by commas. So I wanted it to print this text, which is why I surrounded it with quotes, then the value of this variable. So I put the variable name not in quotes. Uh, and then after that, I wanted to I wanted it to print out the units for this quantity. Uh, and so I included that as text. What I didn't do was include the closing uh, double quote here at degrees Celsius. Uh, so if I do that, uh, that should take care of this um, syntax error. So I'll try running it again. I get a different syntax error. This time it says the syntax error is on line seven. Uh, and in this case, uh, this syntax error is flat up lying to us uh, because uh, the actual error that I've made, which you may have spotted, is I didn't include a closing parenthesis, parenthesis uh, to match this opening one here. This print here has open and close. So why does this uh, syntax error, which helpfully describes invalid syntax as the reason, uh, why does it say line seven is the problem? Well, Python was going through interpreting uh, these lines as uh, instructions for the CPU. And uh, it was uh, reading through line six here and it's it's seeing this open parenthesis and it's going to uh, just keep reading until it gets to a matching closing one. And so it just kept reading past the end of this. And so it didn't figure out that there was a syntax error until it uh, got to line seven um, and uh, didn't find a, a matching closing parenthesis for, for this open one. Uh, so if you see a syntax error, uh, always good to check the line one above to see if there's uh, uh, a missing parenthesis on the line above. Uh, so put that in, that red underline for print there goes away. I'm sure everything's perfectly fine now. And I run it again. And uh, I've got uh, a third uh, error, this, this a new kind. Um, starts with this trace back, um, which it's going to give us, uh, it's going to tell us where in the code the error occurred. And we see a syntax error, that actually happens before the program is ever run. Uh, those are detected um, in kind of a, a pre-processing step. Uh, and, but these, tra these ones that start with trace back, that occurred as the program was actually running. It's again on line six, and uh, it, it hopefully prints out line six uh, for us here. And then here's the description of our error. Name error, name hot underscore temp underscore C is not defined. And so this is telling us that we're using, we're trying to use one of these labels uh, that doesn't actually exist. There's no slot in memory with the label hot, uh, hot temp lowercase c. Uh, and that's because I named this hot temp uppercase c here and so I made a typo in the variable name and Python is not smart enough to know well obviously you meant 
the uppercase C. It just throws up its hands, hair on fire, I don't know what to do, and tells me that hot temp C is not defined. Uh, and uh, if I correct this typo, uh, I can then finally uh, run the program and it prints out that the hot temp is 62 degrees uh, Celsius. And uh, always good to check uh, the results um, uh, if there is a way to get kind of known good results. Uh, always good to, to check those against what your program is producing. Uh, and so I can check it, what is 80 degrees Fahrenheit uh, in Celsius. So I can say 80 degrees uh, in Celsius. Uh, and that says it should actually be uh, 26, not uh, what this said, which was 62. Uh, so now there's no kind of, I, I've kind of fixed all of these uh, errors that were preventing my program from running. Uh, but now I've found kind of the more challenging kind of error, which is uh, my program's doing, it's, it's running fine, but it's doing the wrong thing. So it has an error, uh, just not one that's actually crashing it. And uh, as uh, you probably uh, uh, noticed as I typed it earlier, I uh, uh, did not pay attention to the order of operations um, in my formula uh, for uh, this um, uh, conversion to, to Celsius, and so I need uh, parentheses uh, around the subtraction here to actually do what this uh, formula says. And once I have done that, uh, we see it lasts uh, a, a correct temperature uh, is, is printed out for hot temp C. So um, that's, uh, that, that'll do it for uh, variables and arithmetic. Um, and uh, in the next video, um, I will actually get to what is the deal with git cur temp, what is it, uh, and what does it mean.